Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. Today we are going to be talking about the Glam Bag X from Ipsy for the month of August. And so I'm just gonna jump straight into it. Um, as you guys all know, with Ipsy reviews, what I do is I try on all of the products and then I talk about them and I insert all of the clips of me trying in the products as I'm talking about them. So that way it kind of just makes the video go a little bit faster etc etc okay so let's go ahead and get started the very first product that we are talking about today is from herbivore this is their emerald hemp seed and adaptogens deep moisture glow oil it's meant to give you a soothing hydration and a glow that is lit so the Emerald Deep Moisture Glow Oil has the Cannabis Sativa Seed Oil in it along with uh, aptogenic herbs along with squalene and so just in general it has a lot of those ingredients like those key ingredients that you hear all the time on YouTube from other skincare specialists which by the way I am not so I'm just going to talk about how I feel about this product. First, this is the packaging, which I think is really nice, and the dropper is really quite good. Sometimes you get these face oils and you use the dropper and, like, the dropper sucks and, like, doesn't give you any product, and you're like, what is the point of this? So you're supposed to use this AM and PM, and you press two to three drops gently onto your face and neck, avoiding the eye area, and I actually really liked this. I thought that it had a bit of a cooling sensation and kind of helped with some of the redness while adding quite a bit of moisture on to my skin. So just from here you can see it's not like the most moisturizing face oil that I've ever used before but for someone like me where I'm kind of just really a lot more oily during the day and night all the time uh, then something like this actually works really really well the second product that we received is Volition's Yaopan Tea Glow Awakening Moisturizer and I really really liked this so this one has a ton of caffeine in it essentially what it does is it revives skin and reduces the look of puffiness and tiredness as it soothes which I could always use a little bit of that the main thing that I really really liked about this is the texture and just the way that it felt on my skin and the way that it feels now. My face feels really really moisturized without being heavy and I think it just has to do with how it's formulated with just, I mean it has a ton of really really good stuff in it ingredients wise. Hyaluronic acid, tons of caffeine in it, nature's retinol which is bakuchiol. So it just, I mean, again, it has really, really good products in it. And just as I kind of place it on the back of my hand too, like I can feel that it's moisturizing. I can feel that there's a little bit of it that's kind of not like a tingling feeling per se, but it just, it gives your skin this feeling of like cooling and moisturizing that I really, really like. So I feel like on the days when I'm feeling really puffy, something like this would be really, really nice to have on hand. The third product we're going to talk about is Beauty Stats Universal C Eye Perfector with vitamin C. Um, I don't like this one. <laughs> I tried it on and I there's something about the texture to me that just makes it feel like nothing, if that makes sense. And, and I don't mean nothing in that like, oh, it just blends away beautifully and like blends in your skin and feels like it's really hydrating. I legit feel like it did nothing for my under eyes, which I feel like it should because it says that it's clinically tested to firm and repair fine lines and wrinkles, lessen the appearance of dark circles and puffiness. Delicate eye area is immediately softened, hydrated, calmed, and brightened. And to be totally honest, I feel like it did none of that. Um, I will say the texture is very, very smooth and silky, but there's something in here that is slightly gritty. It's like, it's like a, there, I don't know, there's something so, like just beady in here that kind of feels that grit. And I could feel it on my face too as I was pushing it into my under eye area. And it just made it really like, I actually don't like how my concealer looks today and I used a concealer that I absolutely love. This is the Dose of Colors Meet Your Hue concealer and it's awesome and I hate how my under eyes look. Like they just, they look tired and crepey and like I'm tired and crepey but that doesn't mean that my under eyes should look like that and they usually don't right after I use a really really nice eye cream so this is a hard pass for me. Alright the fourth product that we have is the Tatcha the Silk Canvas. Uh, filter finish protective primer and I need to talk about the packaging of this first because it comes it comes in this box and then you take out you take out the box that's in here 
And then the primer is in this like silver sleeve that you then tear open and take the primer out of it. And I just like, wow, it's, it's an experience to open up a Tatcha product. And I have to say like, I actually have never tried Tatcha before. And so this was actually really fun. And I've been wondering about this primer too, like very curious to see how it goes because it's really, really well liked on Instagram and on YouTube. Like everyone seems to talk about this all the live long day. So here is the product. You get a decent amount of this. It's a 0.7 ounces. So essentially what this does is it has invisible layers of silk instantly filter away imperfections and impurities for alluring skin all day and over time. So I definitely think actually if I just look at my face right now and just in terms of how my foundation lay on my face everything looks really really good I used one of my favorite foundations which is more of a glowy foundation this is the L'Oreal Pro Glow and I think that everything layered on really really well I I'm actually slightly I'm looking in the monitor right now and I look a little bit more on the oily side today but I think that's just I didn't powder my face down as much as I usually do and then I use more of a hydrating mist to set my makeup so that definitely could have something to do with it anyway so to use this product you use the little like scooper thing that came with the box and then you go and you you scoop the primer out and then you apply then you kind of like massage it so that it becomes a softer like like softer feel I guess and then you you put, press it into your skin and onto your pores um in general I'm not a huge fan of the of the scooping of the product in terms of just how I use my products I don't think it's very aesthetically pleasing like to have to to like shovel out product you know what I mean like I I yeah, I'm not a huge fan of that. In general, I really liked how this felt on my face though, and so I'm excited to continue trying it over time, and most of all, just really excited it came in this Ipsy bag because I've been dying to try it for so long. All right, the next product is from Halsey herself. So this is her About Face Liquid Highlighter, Illuminator, I guess, in, let me see, in the color, so this is their Light Lock Highlight, highlight Fluid in Shaken or Stirred. I actually really and fairly enjoyed putting this on my face. <laughs> um, first of all, the color is like this beautiful champagne gold, and it was actually really easy to just blend out onto my skin and give myself that instant dew. You can see my face really does look very dewy. I have a little bit on my nose as well. And it just has a really, really gorgeous shine. One of the things that I would like to do with this is actually I want to apply it with a brush to give myself a little bit more of a highlight to really kind of place that product down. But for today, I kind of wanted to just go light on my layers and see kind of how, how it looks. But even just on the back of my hand, like, dang, like that's that's really quite pretty. Um, in terms of blendability and how it kind of goes into your skin, I used a mixture of my, a beauty blender and my fingers to kind of press it into the high points of my face. And I feel like it blended in really well and didn't disturb my foundation underneath. So those are all wins for me. This month's Ipsy box, by the way, was curated by Halsey and this was the only product from her brand that was in there, but I guess that's okay. <laughs> It's kind of a bummer. I had hoped for more of her About Face products, but didn't get them, so that's all right. All right, and then we have the Tarte Clay Pot Amazonian Clay Waterproof Liner in the color Rose Gold. I actually already have this, so I left this one in its packaging. I'm planning on giving it to my sister, but I really, really like this product. It comes in, you know, pretty much just your typical liner pot, and this is really, really pretty as an eyeshadow. I'm not a huge fan of this as a liner to be honest even though I know that you're supposed to use it as a liner and the reason is because I think it's actually quite a bit more sheer than what I would want from a rose gold liner when you look kind of very closely at the swatch you can kind of see there are just a couple of spots here where you're like oh you know that pigment doesn't seem to have been as smooth as it could be and that's definitely something that I have noticed with this I'm wearing it on my eye right now as just an eyeshadow so I really really like it as like a one and done eyeshadow look or something that you can layer on top of your eyeshadow to give it a little bit of that like glitz and glamour but I don't really like using this product as as a liner I just don't think that it works the way that it's supposed to so 
that is that product. Okay, the next product that we have is Fenty Beauty's Full Frontal Volume Lift and Curl Mascara. I don't know how I feel about this mascara. So let's talk about it first. The, the brush is very special. It's very similar to the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Mascara, which I talked about in my last video, but it has this fat side here that's kind of like that diamond shape, and then when you flip it, it's flattened out. So that way, you can really kind of use each of the different, like, shapes to really get the mascara to build up to the way that you want and really use like for example the flat side of it to load up your lashes and then use that diamond side to kind of comb the product through. Now it took me a really long time to get my lashes to a point where like I think that this is acceptable but it's still not as volumized as I probably would have liked and I also don't think that the pigment is as black as I would have liked as well. I definitely have other mascaras that will outperform this on any single given day so I'm it's fine like it, it's fine I, it's just not something that I'm sitting here like raving about if that makes sense. Um, I this actually honestly even to just get my lashes to this point I feel like I sat here for at least a good I don't know. I think this is actually four coats of mascara. And I just I just don't think that it's really that great. And then the final product that we have is Charlotte Tilbury's Pillow Talk Medium Lip Cheat Lip Liner. This is what I'm currently wearing right now. You guys know I I love my Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk lip liners. I think they work really really well. They are just in the industry of of lip products and everything Charlotte Tilbury really just kills it pretty much with all of her products when it comes to lips. Like everything just looks really good. She has a really good eye for establishing like the perfect undertones. And so this one I would say is, it's got a little bit more of that like plummy shade to it. So this will be really, really nice in the fall or winter when you wanna do something that's like a little bit more cool toned and just a little bit deeper, plummier barrier. So yeah, all in all, that pretty much wraps up this video. I think the Glam Bag X this time around was pretty good, I guess. I It wasn't my favorite. I will say for all of the skincare products, the two that I have decided I'll try for the rest of the week, I'll add in the comments down below kind of how I feel about it when, before I upload this video. Um, the big, big winners for me were the the moisturizer, the Charlotte Tilbury uh, lip liner, the Tatcha Silk Canvas, only just because I've been dying to try this and haven't picked it up yet, and the highlighter. So yeah, in general, not 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 too shabby, but not not the best that I've received. So yeah. Anyway, there are a few gems in here, so that's always a good thing. All right, that pretty much wraps up this video. If you enjoyed watching, please feel free to like and subscribe to our channel, and I will see you guys in next week's video. Thanks for watching. Bye. I don't think that this is... Blech. What? <laughs> uh, yes, I always reach for it when I want something plummier. Plummier. <laughs>